NBC TV 18, celebrating 15 years of leadership. SS Mundra took over as Deputy Governor of the Reserve Bank in charge of banking supervision and financial inclusion at a time when the new government had just lifted financial inclusion to mission mode with its Jandhan Yojana. Inclusion has always been the Reserve Bank's stated goal and an area of expertise for Mr. Mundra. He was chairman of the Committee on Financial Inclusion set up by the Indian Banks Association as also of the Nachiket Moore Committee on Comprehensive Financial Services for Small Business and Low Income Households. As former chairman of Bank of Baroda and a career banker for 37 years, Mr. Mundra also is perhaps best endowed for supervising banks as a regulator at a time when loan defaults are running high. Mr. Mundra, thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. Well, there are a, a whole host of responsibilities that come under you, but uh, prominent both for the Reserve Bank and for the government uh, have been financial inclusion. So let me start with that responsibility. Uh, Jandhan has is now, what, uh, four, five months old, or almost six months. Almost. What has been the, uh, if you can give me an update on the progress, are we getting any very close to the targets? See, update in the sense, I mean to say we are talking in terms of figures and the targets, then of course targets are already behind. Mm. If you recollect when Jandan started, it had aimed at opening 7.5 crore or 75 million of account. The last daily is almost 9 crore. Mm. So, so uh, 90 million accounts which are already opened. Mm. So, in terms of uh, number of accounts to be opened, certainly that milestone has been uh, reached. Jandan was not only about opening the account, and I think that is where the Reserve Bank had been expressing all those mm -hmm. things, that opening of account is just the first step. This account is very crucial that the accounts are operational, Beast. and they, they bring certain desirable outcomes, and I would say a larger outcome would be to inculcate a saving and investment habit in the people who are coming to the formal banking sector mm -hmm. for the first time. So, but uh, means uh, no denying the fact that for doing all that mm. you have to have an account. Mm. That has been done. Uh, now what is crucial further to do some more steps. Mm. So the linking of these accounts with Aadhaar, the DBT should start flowing, mm. the people themselves should start saving. Mm. But I am happy to see when I look at the latest figure and I understand that uh, now these accounts though more than 60% of them are still not operational. Mm. But the accounts which are operational, mm. they have already accumulated a saving of around 7,000 crore, if okay. that is the latest data which, okay. uh, which is available. Okay. So, so that is heartening. But, but as you, I said, number of things are sir, uh, are they using a rupee card? How many rupee cards are out there uh, which are operational? No, no. Again, I think... Uh, Either we all are getting too impatient about it. As I said, number one, opening the account mm. itself. And uh, that is, of course, going on in mission mode. Initially, obviously, for obvious reason, there was a substantial lag between the opening of account and issuance of rupee mm. card. Yes. Issuance of rupee card involves some more logistics, mm. which, which takes their own time. It gets time. posted. Yeah. But uh, re off late, the gap has narrowed. Yeah. So now if we say that account opened are around 9 crore, Maybe the rupee card has been issued in 6 crore plus account. Now, everything is interlinked. Mm. Uh, you don't use a rupee card on a zero balance account. Mm. Okay. So, so, okay. <laughs> I think the, the necessary ingredient is that there has to be a balance in the account. Okay. Right. So, and moreover, see, issuance of rupee card is one thing. Then uh, educating the people to use those cards. Let us be mindful of the fact that a number of people who are coming in this, maybe they're the first time user of banking services. So a card is a very difficult. So, so card is a very difficult thing. Of course, it must be giving them a sense of pride to have a card for the first time in their life. So I think these are the components which but will. Are part. there enough? Uh, other uh, uh, satellite requirements like uh, right. you know POS machines for yeah, the rupee exactly. card. That that was the necessary. I say necessary ingredient. Okay. First ingredient there has to be account. Okay. Second ingredient there has to be a balance in the yes. account. Third ingredient there has to be an ecosystem where the card can be used. Now ecosystem means you should have a point of sales terminal. You should have enough number of ATM. So I think these are the things which have yet to come. Mm. And uh, I think we have been very uh, clear about expressing it mm. that a lot of efforts have been put. 
and I must compliment the banking community mm -hmm. that they have really come forward to achieve what they have achieved till now. Okay. But it is very important that these efforts should not go waste. Okay, now let me that. ask you the question from the other way. How much of these are duplicate accounts? Uh, how much of them are genuinely new accounts? Even if you have a ballpark figure, because in the first rush to uh, hit targets, I know for a fact that anecdotally, I also don't have numbers, anecdotally it was people who had accounts who went and opened new accounts in the hope that they are going to get an accident insurance and other yeah. insurance. Yeah, you, 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 are, you are right. I mean to say uh, there were reasons like this. People were believing only new account would uh, uh, make them entitled for some of the facilities and all that. So it is very difficult to really uh, make any meaningful uh, say percentage derived that these are the duplicate. But some surveys were done, mm. and uh, based on that, again, mm. there can be a huge disparity in the geography about these things, and survey you do confine to one or two areas, but it's quite possible 30% plus or so uh, might be like the, uh, the account which may be duplicated. Mm. Even if we disregard that, 30%, yeah. the residual figure is still very near to the original target, so which I would say is something substantial. Uh, so, mm, that possibility is there, mm. that uh, these accounts uh, may be the uh, duplicate accounts which are sitting there in the system. You would think I that think India that is, is now 75% banked? I, I would say with after this campaign, probably it will be more than that. Okay. Uh, no, so that, that is, we are there. No, that is saying a lot, because I think mm. even now our number of people below the poverty line is over 25%. Yes. So really, uh, what is the point in giving an account to people yeah. who are barely at subsistence level? Okay, what is the cost per account that the bank uh, has? to endure? Uh, I mm, see, op, means, see, individual bank would be able to tell it mm. depends on mm. the what kind of technology people are using, what is their cost mm. structure and all that. But I was, uh, one of the bank was mentioning maybe opening up the account cost is something like 200 rupees or so. Okay. And there must be some uh, cost entailing to the uh, maintenance, maintenance of account also. Uh, but uh, with the technology, mm -hmm. um, it probably uh, it, it may be, and if 7,000 kind of thing is coming and money has started coming even as a saving, then probably that will compensate to some extent uh, for the, the cost. cost which is incurred. Okay. But the another issue which uh, uh, at least we have flagged from the Reserve Bank to govern, uh, government, apart from this Aadhaar and DBT, from the banking side, mm -hmm. there are two things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a sudden addition to the bank system, yes. operating system. And whether the core banking system of each bank is geared up to take this toll, opening of account is, is one thing. When the account is start transacting, yeah. it's, it's quite uh, required that you may have to upgrade mm. the capability. Maybe uh, the redundancy is available in many banks, but it would be a right issue for the banks to start examining now rather than when it is dead. Mm. Similarly, if you open up uh, hundreds of thousands of BC outlets, and let them operate as a sovereign entity in their own, <laughs> then again there are issues. Yeah. So, so it means around every 15, BC. 20 BC there has to be a physical outlet. Mm. Uh, which, which is not there even, at the moment. It's not there. I mean some are there but not to that number. Even on a broad estimation it was uh, estimated that you need around 75,000 brick and mortar outlet, okay. maybe uh, you know a small cast mm. base manpower but nonetheless mm. a full-fledged branch kind of thing in next three years mm. if you have to open 75,000 outlets and you and need three at three percent <laughs> for each then you need to have two like 25,000 people who should mean that then with the cash management mm. so that is why I said that this is the just the beginning, but if to give it a meaningful shape, a lot of work is yet to be done. Let me come to uh, the other uh, uh, part which is related to financial inclusion but is a much richer uh, effort. This financial literacy uh, or uh, citizen empowerment, uh, customer empowerment that was enshrined in a recent uh, Reserve Bank document. Mm. You know, you all say the customer has rights to be sold the correct product and banks are answerable if a wrong product is sold. Is not those rights any available why did you have to put a document the first thing you talked about the financial literacy or awareness mm -hmm. when you are literate and you are aware mm -hmm. then you can really seek your right mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. you know these are the interlinked yeah. things so first thing is of course is a big requirement that there should be mm -hmm. enough awareness and the literacy 
बट इवन फॉर द लिटरेट पीपल आई आई वुल फुल्ली एग्री विथ यू दैट ऑल द राइट्स आर देयर इवन यू नो दे आर इंस्ट्राइंड इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया वाइज टॉक अबाउट दी बट एट टाइम्स इट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू नंबर वन रिड्यूस देम इन अ वेरी स्पेसिफिक बिकॉज दिज राइट्स टू बिकम मीनिंगफुल इज समथिंग विच नीड्स टू बी प्लेड बाय बोथ द साइड द पीपुल हु आर सपोज टू प्रोवाइड दिस राइट एंड पीपुल हु आर सीकिंग दिस राइट सो मे बी वाइल इट विल बी अ हेल्पफुल फॉर द पीपुल सीकिंग राइट एज अ रिफरेंस डॉक्यूमेंट बट प्रॉब्ली इट विल बी एन अवेकनिंग कॉल फॉर द पीपुल हु आर सपोज टू प्रोवाइड इज इट सर आई कैन टेल यू सो मेनी इंस्टेंसेज वेर इट इज सो डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी टू क्लोज अ बैंक अकाउंट वी आर कॉन्स्टेंटली बम्बार्डेड विथ प्रोडक्ट्स विच आर मिस सोल्ड एंड यू डोंट हैव द टाइम आई हैव अ जॉब टू डू नाइन टू नाइन टू अर्न अ लिविंग आई कान रन आफ्टर द बैंकर्स एंड पिक अप अ फाइट सो are the bankers sensitized are they penalized is that side being given a fright of their life so and uh, no, no, i can i can very much appreciate and understand your anguish uh, of course be being from the industry side for far all these years probably mm. never faced this kind of uh, 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 problem but uh, having said that mm. it doesn't mean that not aware that this mm. kind of problems are existing but that was the whole idea mm. i i know there are each bank is having a customer service policy each bank is having a committee a few years back the bcsbi was also set up they have their own charter but the need was felt that uh, we have to give an overarching principle mm-hmm. and you know the five basic rights are there mm-hmm. uh, what has changed from the previous framework i think uh, there is a clear mention about the right of suitability okay. and right of uh, grievance redress and compensation mm-hmm. oh. now now you have to be you know little bit but okay. uh, mm, i am we can't afford to get impatient about it on that point uh, i will uh, take a break and transit to the more macro issues that you handle for nbfcs and banks we are back in a minute cnbc tv 18 celebrating 15 years of leadership